everybody how is it going it has been a long time since i've done something like this and that is a book review and this is the book that i chose the zen and the art of knitting anything that has the word zen and the art of it's something that i absolutely love um and it's it's definitely worthy of my attraction which means i have to maybe pick up the copy of zen and the art of motorcycle maintenance because i heard that's also a good one Anyways, if you are a knitter, or even if you aren't a knitter, this is the book for you. Um, basically, the title is Zen and the Art of Knitting, Exploring the Links Between Knitting, Spirituality, and Creativity by Bernadette Murphy. For those of you who are knitters, um, this gives you a different perspective on the craft. Um, there are some patterns in here that you can try if you're somebody who's just new to knitting. they give you. She gives you some wonderful ideas on uh patterns and projects you can start with and there's also patterns and projects in the back too um but really this is about somebody who she basically went on a quest and wanted to talk to people who do knit about why they do it and how what does it what is it what's in it for them basically the long and short of it is most knitters love the process they love the idea that you can take a break from things. Your mind can be whisked away, whisked away somewhere and, you know, concentrate on something away from the real world. It's kind of like a gamer who likes to play World of Warcraft or other games because it gives them satisfaction. It's a stress relief. Um, they also say that with knitting, and I know this is scientifically proven, uh, that it helps lower blood pressure. I should know because... Before knitting, my blood pressure was high. Since I've been knitting for the last couple of years, it's definitely has dropped significantly. And um, the medical people I went to were amazed. Like, oh, how come this is like that? And I tell them, I'm, I knit. That's way to release my stress. Um, in addition, it's also shown to be another kind of meditation. So if you're not the type of person to sit and do the whole own thing, like you see in like a Buddhist or Hindu temple, um... Knitting is a great way to, to do like an active type of meditation, you know, kind of like walking meditation or anything that requires a meditative state of mind, but you're doing it actively. But parts of your body are also doing it passively, too. Um, when I knit, usually, and just to give you a background about myself, I like to do it when I'm winding down for the day. Um, if I'm really in a mood, I will knit in the daytime or if there's like a pressing deadline or something, then I'll go crazy on that. Otherwise, I like to take my time, depending on the project. Uh, for me, obviously, the bigger the project, the longer it's going to take. That's just how it is. With my busy schedule that I've had nowadays, I haven't really had a chance to really sit down and knit and design like I would want to. So I still consider knitting as a hobby. Now, eventually, I would like to go into it as far as selling things and selling patterns, which is what I've been trying to do through uh, my website at angelwritercreations.com. I've not exactly been successful at it. I'm lucky if I get commission work here and there. And you know what? That's fine. No big deal. Not a problem. But it's something that I discovered. Actually, one of my friends who had been dying to teach me that I was babysitting for for a while um, got me into it. And it's interesting because how I got the babysitting job with her is I would babysit in exchange for some knitting lessons. And that's basically how it came to fruition. So, yeah, um, I hope that I can start talking about knitting more when I have a chance. Um, these days in my life, I've been busy, but I'll tell you what, knitting has been great for me. It's become a great new creative outlet. And if there's anybody out there, to do kind of a shameless plug, if you will, if there's anybody out there who wants something knitted, especially for the holidays, for yourself or a loved one, um, please go to my website, angelwritercreations.com, click on the Nitsy site, or where it says Miss Nitsy's site. I've had to kind of do some rebranding with that. Um, and contact me. Send me a message. Um, right now, I don't have anything PayPal-wise there, but you can pay through a credit card. Or you can contact me at angelwritercreations at gmail.com, and I will be happy to give you a price quote for whatever you want. Um, so... Having said that, um, I hope you th you think of getting something knitted. Enjoy the process. If you're interested also in taking up knitting, let me know. Contact me. I'll be happy to give you a plethora of resources. And if you'd like me to make some videos on some basic knitting techniques or whatnot, please let me know. I'm, 
I'd be happy to do so for you. So until next time, everyone, take care and get into the Zen and Art of Knitting. Great book, highly recommended.